It's the Surface Go, Microsoft's latest addition to their lineup of Surface products. The Surface family is notorious for having extremely low repairability scores. Last year's Surface Book 2 scored a 1 out of 10, and even worse, the Surface laptop got a 0. So how will the Surface Go measure up? There's only one way to find out, and that's to tear it down. With no visible screws, the only way to get beneath the Surface Go is through the display. With a little heat from our eye opener and our usual suction cup and pick method, we free the display and disconnect the battery. Looks like this is a 10-inch IPS multi-touch display with a resolution of 1800 by 1200 and a pixel density of 217 ppi. If there's one thing Surface devices have in spades, it's clip-on shields that cover everything. After removing eight shields, we finally figure out how to tackle the rest of the device. The camera bracket is held down by six screws, and underneath it we find the Windows Hello camera, a 5-megapixel selfie camera, and the 8-megapixel rear-facing camera. Out next are pretty much the only modular ports in the Surface Go, the micro SDXC card reader and the Surface type cover port. Just a few screws hold the motherboard in place and then it lifts right up. On the board, we see the dual core 1.6 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4415Y processor, 64 gigabytes of SK Hynix NAND flash memory, and the four gigabytes of SK Hynix made RAM. Unfortunately, we also spot that the headphone jack, USB-C port, and the Surface Connect port are all soldered to the motherboard. Now we're only left with the speakers and battery. While the speakers come right out, the battery is firmly glued in place. This is a 26.12 watt hour battery, which is quite a drop in capacity from its pro-level predecessors, like the Surface Book 4, which had a 38.2 watt hour battery. We've come to the end of our teardown, so it's time to talk repairability. How did the Surface Go score on our repairability meter? Well, it got a 1 out of 10, and here's why. The smaller form factor seems to make the glass easier to remove without breaking, but it's still terrifyingly hard. If this is expected to replace a PC, the lack of upgradability will severely limit the device's lifespan. The lack of modularity, especially on high-wear ports, makes repair unnecessarily expensive. Adhesive stubbornly holds many components in place, including the display and battery. And finally, replacement of any part requires removal of the display assembly, which is an easy and expensive part to damage. 